How's it going guys? Medium difficulty question. Ophthalmology step one, step two. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, I'm an underscore medical, I'm HLMA underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel. Down below, nice for the clip. 72 year old man, he's got just simply fundoscopic and Amsler grid findings here. Okay, it's a one liner. And especially for 2CK, you need to know this. I know many of you studying for step one. Okay, well, I mean, this is a, a very basic factoid I want you to know for uh, opt out, all right? So you look at this Amsler grid here and you say, well, I don't really know what's going on. You can clearly see that they're supposed to be straight lines, but for this patient, they appear wavy, quote unquote, all right? That's how you describe this, just wavy lines on the straight line uh, Amsler grid test. And then similarly, you look, you look at the fundoscopy, say no fucking idea what I'm supposed to be looking at. Okay, well, couldn't you imagine that uh, these retinal vessels, these retinal arterioles, they look a bit more conspicuous or prominent than you probably would otherwise see on a fundoscopy in combination with these uh, conspicuous yellow lesions, which are known as drusen. They are uh, lipoproteinaceous deposits, okay, lipid and protein in composition. So let's just look at the answers here. Choice A, high femur, wrong fucking answer. So I've said don't choose weird sounding shit. However, this is a correct answer on one of the new 2C KMBME, so you have to know this. This is going to be trauma to the eye where you get blood in the anterior chamber. You say, well, that doesn't mean anything to me. Well, if you look at the eye and you see the iris, the colored part, if you see a, a bottom semicircle of blood collecting in front of the eye, like literally over the iris, you say, that looks really creepy slash scary. That's a high FEMA, okay? So they show you an image on one of the NBME exams, and you just need to know that's blood in the anterior chamber. The answer is just straight up high FEMA. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, macular degeneration, correct answer. So you need to know this is one of the most common causes of vision loss in elderly. And they love, they are obsessed with this wavy line finding that the, this is how the patient perceives the straight line uh, Amsler grid test, okay? They just say wavy lines, it's that buzzy. And you just say, oh, that's just macular degeneration. And then you could be aware that age-related macular degeneration can be dry, where you don't get vascular proliferation, or it can be wet, where you get vascular proliferation, as in this case, and wet is worse than dry. You could, in theory, use anti-VEGF treatments. I haven't seen you assembly give a fuck, but you could be aware that drusen, it's a buzzy finding. These yellow deposits, as I said, lipoproteinaceous material, they're just associated with uh, macular degeneration, okay? So just... Uh, vision loss in elderly patient, drusen, and you get these wavy lines, holy shit, when you do the straight line Amsler grid test. Let's just flip to the other answers real quick. Choice C, opening glaucoma, wrong fucking answer. This is going to be increased intraocular pressure, causing a painless loss of peripheral vision over months to years. And the first uh, answer they want is tonometry, okay, tonometry. That's going to be testing for intra intra intraocular pressure, should be 12 to 20 millimeters of mercury. And you can use uh, topical agents for treatment, such as pilocarpine, you can use, uh, which is a muscarinic receptor agonist. You can use topical beta blocker, such as timolol. You can use topical prostaglandins, uh, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, red night speaking dose. Actually, real quick, I'll just mention uh, tangentially a closed angle of glaucoma. It's going to be a painful red eye acutely uh, with a mid fixed dilated pupil. Okay, and similarly, you just use topical pilocarpine. As I already said, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, red nice pigmentosa, wrong fucking answer. So as the name implies, you get pigment deposits, around, but it's around the periphery of the retina. The only thing you need to know, okay, it's a familial condition. The only thing you need to know is that this is going to show up as a combination of nyctalopia, so loss of night vision, as well as peripheral vision where you get tunnel vision. Okay, so I mentioned before for opening glaucoma, well, this is just painless loss of uh, peripheral vision, okay, over months to years. But retinitis pigmentosa, they're going to give you not only the loss of peripheral vision where you get tunnel vision, but they're going to say nyctalopia, as I said, okay, nyctalopia, uh, loss of night vision. Wrong fucking answer. Choice vitreous hemorrhage, wrong fucking answer. So, I mean, this is basically, this will show up as a distractor sometimes. It's not a high yield uh, answer as something you'll see as correct. You could be aware this can occur in diabetes, all right? And as I said, uh, when it shows up as a distractor, what they like doing is uh, placing this alongside 
uh, retinal detachment. So they'll give you a boxer who was hit in the eye and they'll show you a fundoscopy where you see a well demarcated uh, lesion on the retina where half of the retina is sticking out. It appears gray. The other half uh, of the fundoscopy appears normal. That's very buzzy. That, that demarcation is very buzzy for retinal detachment and they will simply have uh, vitreous hemorrhage as another answer choice. And you're like, well, he got hit in the eye. It could be. It's not. Okay. So vitreous hemorrhage, it's more of a vascular abnormality, leakage of blood that you get uh, classically in diabetes. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. If you make more content, if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.